All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and today we're going to be doing an overview and demonstration of my new door alarm. So this is set up, this was actually a prefabricated system that I got off of eBay for a couple of bucks. It consists of a little control board on the inside, and I'll show you that, and then a Potter Selector Strobe Horn CH-1224-W horn strobe with the amber lens, and it says alert on the side. And then it's on the actual enclosure, inside the enclosure all the controls. And then coming down from the enclosure is a conduit. And if we come down here, there's a little magnet sensor and then a magnet that I have on this little gate partition that we have here. So we can keep animals from going to different sides of the basement. And we'd have a problem with uh, people would accidentally leave this open. So I found this on eBay and thought it would be a perfect device to use to remind us that hey the gate is open so i'll go ahead and open it up i have it uh, unscrewed a bit so i can open it for the video so inside there's just a little control board made by emc with a set of dip switches and then some terminal blocks we got two separate relays and then the controls for the horn strobe and then your little preference switches down there for the time being, for this video, I have it set to go off after 30 seconds. Normally, um, when this is a normal operation for me, I have it go off after 30 minutes. And the way that this normally works, because I did change it a little bit for my purposes, is that as soon as the magnet sensor senses that the magnet is gone by closing, a, or by opening a switch, sorry, because um, it's a normally closed, closed switch in there. And so when it senses the magnet's gone or the door's open, normally the strobe would go off and then after X amount of time you have it set, the horn would go off. For my purposes, I didn't want the strobe going off because I have this open when I'm doing my videos and I didn't want the strobe constantly going off or if we have it open to vacuum or anything. So I just made this a two wire device and the strobe and the horn come on at the same time. You can see down here there's a little plaque that's, you know, it's door open alarm, strobe indicates door is open, horn sounds if open too long, close the door immediately. So I'm just going to do a little uh, demonstration of it. I'll just open the gate and then we'll wait 30 seconds and then the horn strobe will go off. So we'll do that. So we'll open and then to get it to reset you just close the gate and I have it set to a zero minute reset instead of a five minute reset. So as soon as the magnet comes back, it will reset the counter instead of waiting five minutes for the door to be closed before it resets the counter. So we just wait. It's actually pretty loud. We can hear it all the way upstairs, which is good. It says alert on the side and an amber strobe. And there it goes. And then to reset it, you just close the gate. And inside, there's little LEDs. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. So I'm going to open the gate, and you'll see the LEDs, maybe, go as different stages happen. So the first LED you'll see immediately come on will be the strobe. So magnet's gone, so that opened our relays and turned on the strobe. And then we wait for the counter and then you'll see the fourth LED come on and that turns on. That means the horn is turned on. So we wait and we wait and we wait. This is just fed 24 volts DC. I actually have this tapped off of my silent night panel auxiliary power. And then once you close it, the LEDs go back off. And then it's just this nice little housing. And everything is all put together. We'll put the gate together right. So yeah, this was a fairly cheap setup. It's just a typical door contact. There's a magnet bar on the gate, magnet switch inside. And it uh, will scream at us if the door's open too long. You can easily make one of these with one of those switches and just make it so the horn goes off immediately by just doing a simple switch. But this one has timers in it, 
which I like so you can have this open to actually do stuff and not get screamed at. So this would be something very simple that you guys could actually build at home with just a simple button or if you want to get one of these magnet switches and a horn strobe. It's pretty easy. So um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. And what should we pull? We'll pull, pull the killer arc. Have a wonderful day.